Oh god! I shall have to find the golden Olmec head in order to remedy this. With a glorious laugh and a spin around, she groped a nearby waiter. <laughs> she groped a nearby waiter with her large, unseemly hands. Boy, were this if this were on the telly, it'd have to be after the watershed. <laughs> Now bored, Lura trod upon the ground towards where her, the ancient Olmec head was thought to be. I think I do remember now. The temple she arrived at was large and old, and filled with a brim with spiders and creepy crawlies. Laro pulled her flamethrower out from her pouch and squirted flaming pr Prometheum. <laughs> Prometheum. <laughs> Skirted flame of Promethean over them. A Russian baddie suddenly appeared. Oh, guys, it's the Russian baddie. Laura, he said. His voice sounded like it had been stamped on and had grit shoveled into it for a thousand years and whilst being set on fire with the blood of angry Germans. It is time you have stopped. Ah! <laughs> Laura got out of her pistol and shot him in the foot. Ouch! <laughs> he shouted the evil Russian Nazi. My foot burn! No! Laura smashed away to the Olmec head, nicked it, and gave it to her mum's tubes. That was fun, she stated, and did some geology. The government of America planted a flag on top of the head and undulated strongly. The men in the suit. What men in the suit? This is. It, what? The man in the suit then sidled up to Laura. His voice sounded like it had been born yesterday, then burnt. <laughs> he breathed. <laughs> Laura knew him to be evil, but she was in no position for decision. <laughs> Do the next one. You gonna do the next no. one? No. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Somebody's gonna do the next one. I will do the next one. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll be some voices if you want me to be. Okay. <laughs> you, you ready for Laura Windsor 2? Great for Robert Steeling Extreme. <laughs> extreme. Extreme. <laughs> extraordinaire. Just extreme. <laughs> Also, also, by the way, sorry, the, the, the blurb for this. Grig sends her minions on the last quest for, jo for glory. Will. Will. <laughs> okay. Ben, you've got to be everything that's in uh, speech marks. Okay. Lulu knew her assignment. The man told her to harvest the blood of the villainous temple dwellers. And then Laura needs to sell all her looted goods in the underground black market. La jumped out of her bed in the morning in London. She was wearing lingerie, but you couldn't see it because she was also wearing pajamas. <laughs> she sensed something sinister approaching the front door of her flat, so she looked out with wild eyes for a moment. But then the sinister presence got out a machine gun and shot a door full of holes. Ah, oh. <laughs> Leo thought. My artifacts! Lal went round very fast and picked up all of the artifacts she had robbed over the years, including her father's shoelaces. Father's <laughs> shoelaces. shoelaces. And father. <laughs> Suddenly, the suited man approached. Hmm. He said, announcing himself as the baddie in the chapter of this thing. You know I have your pet slug captured and held at gunpoint. Lau wrinkled her eyes and cried for a second, then collected her thoughts and knew that she, what she needed to accomplish. Thrashing. She got her clothes on and leaped out of the window safely, though. She had a terrible experience with this, in, in this deep, dark, mysterious past. Thus... Looper grab <laughs> that's Looper grabbed hold of the windowsill to steady her boots <laughs> while she tied them on. This is the businessman. <laughs> yeah. The man in the suit. Yes. I have your baby, Lula. <laughs> the man in the suit screamed. I have your baby. Lapa <laughs> realized she must be unbelievably fast in her doing of the accomplishments will be. London was muggy and shite that day. Lays <laughs> went into the underground and instantly regretted it. An emotional scene that made his ugly bulk out of the hideous shadows. Loudly watched a hipster imitate the hobo that was dying. Lyra grimaced and left the subway. She walked along the sidewalk with swagger. 
<laughs> Until she finally found herself in the airport after visiting the party. <laughs> For an extremely brief excursion, <laughs> Lau bought some of their duty free lager for sale and drank it. It was entirely fruitless as La La was in totally immune to alcohol. That's good. Satisfied, Lau T <laughs> caught the aeroplane to Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkirk was cold and wet an emotional scene happened again and all seemed lost for Laurel to... <laughs> the tanks were dead and splayed their insides all over the floor oh. and Laurel found the breeze unsettling and picked up the oh, artifact <laughs> suddenly her telephone rang <laughs> she dug the device out of a breast gap <laughs> and answered it hello? she asked <laughs> what? Who's the nasty man? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> Said the nasty <laughs> man. <laughs> now that you have the artifact, please come to the facility if you don't want the ransom destroyed. Now, fully motivated, Lalcap stole the boat and put it back to England with her in it. The bus stop in Milton Keynes, where she landed, was empty, Milton but Keynes. for a single morose occupant. After telling the occupant what was going on, Lout looked into the man's eyes, whom stared back and told her the metaphor for the moral of the story. Amazed, Lulu <laughs> travelled to the bus and said, Noi! In a loud, unsightly manner, the bus slowly moved over to the base. Latru hid behind a bush. The guards took out their guns and looked around constantly, never seeing her. Luratit came and kicked them in the mouths dead. They splayed limbs onto the metal flooring. Lau picked up the weapon and tramped deep into the facility. <laughs> Suddenly, the man was there. Next to him, in a massive laser vault, was being held by the slug baby. <laughs> <laughs> the suited man ordered the guards to charge and they did, shooting as they went. Lau, he dodged bullets, although she was hit by most of them. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> the health bar in Lutie's corner shrunk down to a tiny size, and the screen became red with Lauit's blood and ligaments. The suited man laughed. <laughs> now I have the artifact, and you will not. He gloated for ages until <laughs> Latrine shot the laser maker machinery and released the slug. It captured and destroyed the man, <laughs> and the world was free from the evil doers. But for how, how long? long? Oh, wow. <laughs>